so this is our next image and you can see that this is an x-ray of the yes this is a this is an x-ray of the abdomen so this is the abdomen and you can see a gross black structure and you know that anything black in the abdomen is that means that it contains gases and by the look of this image you can see that it is too much black and it is too much wide and thick so what do you think it is first let us discuss that whether this structure is present in the center of the abdomen or along the periphery so what do you think yes it is present in the periphery so this is one point right next what else can you see you can see that it is quite thick in diameter and it has these markings it has these markings so in our previous module on in part one we have discussed about these points we have discussed about the difference between small bowel and large bowel obstruction i am not going to repeat it here but the important points are that large bowel the diameter is thicker so this the diameter is much more the second thing is that it is present in the periphery not in the center so small intestinal obstruction would present about here in the center but large bowel obstruction presents along the periphery so that is another point so that is also matching with our finding thick uh, thick diameter is also matching with our finding and another finding we have discussed is that yes hostrations hostrations we can observe the hostrations here as well these are nothing but the hostrations in small bowel obstruction we would have got valvary conjunctivitis stuff like this okay but here we are getting nothing of that sort this part is completely plain but we are getting this hostrations and this is classical large bowel obstruction so this is an image showing large intestinal obstruction so this is not a very difficult image to diagnose because with one look you can say that this is the large bowel right so from our anatomy and from our like class 2 or 3 days images of the digestive system we know that we have the large bowel like this along the periphery of the abdomen with the small bowel inside and this is exactly what is uh, being depicted in this image so now let's move on to our next image right so this is our next image and it is grossly abnormal as you can see you have never maybe seen a structure like this before in an x-ray of the abdomen and this is again quite black so this is going to be a part of the bowel and it is quite thick and quite uh, in, uh, quite enlarged so this is again obstruction and it is intestinal obstruction of some sort right okay now how do you think this structure is looking like see i have mentioned that pathologists radiologists these people are quite imaginative and whenever they see maybe something under the slide in case of pathologist or something uh, in the x-ray or ct scan they try to correlate it they try to find analogous things in real life to compare this with and what do you think it looks like it looks like this don't you think it looks like this and what are these these are coffee beans coffee beans so this is also known as coffee bean appearance so this is one appearance of this x-ray coffee bean appearance okay see this thing and this thing they are quite similar right next thing uh, that some people uh, refer to this as is a bent inner tube bent inner tube or tire some maybe the inner tube of the tire nowadays we have tubeless tires but in the olden days we had tires which had tubes inside this and if you have ever observed i don't know if you have ever seen a tube tire nowadays all tires are tubeless i have seen tube tires in my childhood and inside the tire we used to get a huge this type of thick thick black tube and if you had bent it ever this would have given a sort of structure similar to this that is why it is known as a bent inner tube or a tire sign as well so with all these descriptions done what is this this is an x-ray showing sigmoid volvulus sigmoid volvulus we have talked about sigmoid volvulus in our theory chapters so what is that it is basically the rotation of the sigmoid colon along its mesentery and this rotation naturally causes obstruction of the lumen leading to enlargement of the proximal part and giving an appearance like this so this is a classical image and if you can't diagnose this image it is going to be quite a discredit for you it is not at all difficult it is not any obscure image or any uh, image of a rare cause sigmoid volvulus is not that rare okay and this picture is extremely classical any picture sort of this is quite classical and please be thorough with this image you, you need to diagnose it in the exam and then the examiner is going to ask you about sigmoid volvulus and stuff like that but the diagnosis is very important and this is classical so coffee bean appearance bent inner tube or tire appearance and this is sigmoid volvulus 
another thing that i want you to note in this image because i'll show you another image see the direction is like this sigmoid valvulus when it rotates it lo it rotates in this direction and that is why if you uh, sort of think about the axis this is like this sort of in the anti clockwise direction just keep this in mind so let us have another look at the sigmoid valvulus so here also you can see that we have again this bent inner tube or this sort of coffee bean sort of shape the previous picture this one is the classical and an extra might be also presented to you where the finding is like this this is also sigmoid valvulus this is also sigmoid valvulus but i want to draw your attention to another thing here just observe this extra carefully apart from this what else can you see the bones and these things are normal could you find it it is here so what is this a radio opaque structure sort of like this inside the abdomen what do you think it is okay and uh, can you guess the sex of the patient here the gender there is no penis shadow here no penis shadow if this was a male then you would have got a penis shadow and you can sort of visualize that this is a female patient now what do you think is this female patient tube like structure inside the abdomen radio opaque this is nothing but a copper t copper t this is a copper t in pelvis this is just an incidental finding a female who had copper t presented with valvulus so that is just an incidental finding but if x rays like these are given to you in the exam the examiner might ask you questions like this as well incidental findings for example sometimes you can visualize ryles tube in the abdomen as well the last part of the ryles tube which is radio opaque and sometimes examiner ask you on that as well that what what is the structure so you need to be careful about these things but the main thing is that this is a case of sigmoid valvulus as well so now let's move on to our next image 